Okay, so now we have these basic things. Now we're going to go into putting them inside of this tile sample or color. Um, we're going to go ahead and let me talk about this node real quick. This is a uniform color node, as it says. So we'll just drop one in there. And you'll notice that if you look closer at it, it is just transparent like that. So all you have to do is come to your uh, uniform color and go ahead and pull back on the alpha and lo and behold it's transparent so that's great why would we do that because we're going to use that as our alpha into our uh, node um, compiler inside of the tile sample color notice that it's orange or yellow because it needs to be a um, an input of yellow so we don't want to use just regular tile sampler like this we want random color no tile sampler color okay now we're going to go into here and then we're going to take this sucker and put it into there and you'll see why here let me do it this way I'll do it without that first and then we'll come into our tile sampler and we're gonna look at it and we're gonna basically mimic what we have here so the first thing we need to do is tell it to not use squares but to use uh, the pattern input that we have in there and oops I missed and now we get that pattern which is just a circle um, the other thing we want to do real quick is tell it to not tile we don't want it to tile and how you get rid of this tiling mode when it's grayed out like that is you come over to this drop down here and you say absolute and then you change that we want it to be horizontal tiling only it may not look like a big difference right now but it makes a difference okay so then we're going to come into here and decide how much we want it to tile in both ways or how much of the instances so we're going to say on this top one i think we're going to end it up at six yeah and then this bottom one is going to be 24. and i know it looks squished and everything like that we'll take care of it if we keep going down to the pattern inputs fine and we come down to size and right now it's one by one we want this to be one by four and there we go now you can start to see that it's going across like this right okay then we're going to come down to the next area which is let me see here to the scale and we're going to look at it is at 0.8 right now we want to do the default is 0.8 1.5 just to make it a little bit bigger and now look what we have is something similar to what we have up there but it's still a little bit off next thing we do is we come down to offset and we do it in 1.5 amount or 0.5 amount i mean 0.5 and look at that now we've got our shells we've got some weird stuff going down here at the bottom um, we don't have anything going at the top because that's because it ends right there. So how do we fix that problem? Well, we need to move the position of it. To do that, we come down to the global offset, and we're going to set this to 1. Though I think 0 is fine too, but we're going to set it to 1. And then we're going to go to the next one and say, for this one, we want it to be 2. So delete, because we didn't select before that, 2. And now we see that it's going down. Now it's got this bottom part right, but then we got this up here doing it wrong. That's where we put that alpha in, and now all of a sudden it's transparent at that point, which is good. We want it to be. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is do this again. We're going to copy all of this, just like that. Copy C and paste it down here so we have a duplicate of it really don't need this one we'll just go ahead and make this one go to there so we have the same one and we'll double click on this one and take a look at it and really the only thing we need to change on this one is the tile offsets and all we need to do on this one is change the offset and the offset on this one I think I'm going to say zero and let's do point five if I remember right that looks wrong let's see what we did up here well, that was what we did. Oh, yeah. I guess that is right. All we care about is the top. So we're going to overlap these. So this one is here, and this one's going to go over on top of it. If you look at it, it'll sit on top of the bottom problem. So, of course, then we just have to blend. So we're going to grab one of these and do blend. And we'll do the other one and say blend. And... They actually should be switched, even though I think I haven't switched up there. So we're just going to go select them both, say X. And then we can see now it's perfect. They're overlapping. There's no edge right there. And then we can go out to our output node, which in this case is just going to be simple outputs. Like that. 
And then this one, we're going to name it. I just look at what I did here. Output, output, and then that should be it. And as long as you have this is C color, that's a problem. Okay, so we don't want it to be color because it won't input into other things as easily. So and the only way to fix that is to change what we did here. So I'm going to grab this one and just say output. Yeah, we're going to leave it at one because it needs to be that way, but you should be... We'll just call it output shell and then label output shell there. Okay, I'll just leave this about that way. And then if we look at it now, it says output shell. Okay, so the problem is we need to make this black and white. We know how to do that really easy, just like we did before. Grayscale conversion, we could do it that way. Or we could do a, a gradient map. So we'll grab this one and do a B and then GR and then grayscale conversion and it goes to black and white and there we go. Now we have this final one and you'll see it says L. That means it's a, a linear or black and white. And that's that. Now the other thing I was going to show you real quick is that you can mess with some of this stuff by by having your output selected. I have that output out here selected just like that. I double click to make sure it's showing the paper. Then I'm going to come over to this transform. And then in the transform, all I'm really doing is scaling this in. And as I scale it in, I get more of those. Makes these circles and stuff. And then you get this. And this may not be exactly, but you get the idea. Um, I think I did it in a more specific way. There. And then you get this nice, you know, conch shell thing. We don't need to do that. I just want to show you that it can be done. There's more ideas you can do with this. Oops. Let's uh, redo that. And that's it.